Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will introduce you about a small computer, Raspberry Pi 4. This is a mini computer which allows you to program some uh, of the application for Internet of Things or IoT. So firstly, you unbox the new Raspberry Pi 4 computer. It is Model P with 4 GB memory. So here is a box I have just buy from the website of Raspberry Pi. So now open the board and see some of the basic uh, port on here. So firstly, we have a USB Type C for power supply, two MIDI, HDMI, and an audio jack, uh, USB 2.0 and USB 3.0, and it is a LAN network card. Okay. And then it is GPIO or general purpose input output. The memory card is uh, 16 gigabyte and the audio that we can allow you to listen to music. And here uh, you can see it is very small and easier to uh, place. And the GPIO or general purpose input output allow you to connect other device. So firstly, you need to download the Raspberry Pi operating system. Uh, in this page, you can download the image for Windows, for Mac OS, or for Linux, or even to You download this file. This file will allow you to install uh, the operating system into uh, the bot or the mini computer Raspberry Pi. So uh, you can save this file to your computer and you can open the Raspberry Pi. Uh, operating system image and uh, there are many kinds of Raspberry Pi operating system image then you can save this image to your photo your setup photo so now we have the setup photo in my computer in my hard driver and save this okay so you can see uh, my image inside uh, my hard driver and uh, you expand or uh, unzip this file to DMG file or, or executable file in Windows. So this is new out the uh, box software as an operating system utility and you can download the Raspberry Pi image that uh, it will help write Raspberry Pi operating system to memory card and you save this to your setup for very small and easy to install and you drag and drop to your application folder. Uh, this is my memory card, uh, 16 GB plus 10. Yes, very small and easier to use. You can uh, copy the data inside by using this USB to memory card. Or uh, if your computer has memory card, no need to use. And you can copy and uh, plug in. Uh, open the Raspberry Pi Major. The operating system is a zip file. User custom allow is okay to access your uh, driver and browse to the setup. You have just download the image. Okay, here it is here, and press open, and then choose my. Yeah, okay, and type your administrator password and write and continue and then it is okay. The operating system has just been saved to the memory card. You exit the memory card from your computer and place this memory card here. Yes, this good. Okay, you can plug this inside. Yes, Raspberry Pi. And then you turn on the Raspberry Pi by plug in the USB Type C. It's a power supply for the bot to access the internet. Yes, you can connect here. The USB for 
your keyboard, the USB uh, 0 0.0 and 2.0, it is okay, no problem. The 3.0 USB port. The LAN network is turned on, means that the data is okay. You can access the internet through this LAN network. So now, this is the wire to connect from your HDMI to external display. You can also connect to display, to external display. Yes, and connect this HDMI mini to the normal HDMI. So inside uh, the computer, I can access uh, the terminal by en uh, by firstly enabling the secure cell connection SSS by uh, system control enable SSS and start SSS to start the service up SSS and host name to see the computer name. So my computer name here is Raspberry Pi. Okay, you connect to the internet and connect to the SDMI. So you can ping for to the Raspberry Pi board uh, from your PC or from your laptop to uh, with the same network to check for the available you know, the availability, and you can connect to the P account by SSSP at the computer Raspberry Pi. You, you type yes to accept the connection. Yes. You type your password as a Raspberry Pi is a username. It is a password. Okay. A Raspberry. And you can list or list all to see the file inside the Raspberry Pi operating system. Type clear to clear screen. You type U name uh, minus A mean own. You name uh, to see the detail information of uh, your operating system and print Linux standard base, the Raspberry Pi version 10 and codename Buster uh, Raspberry Linux 10 Buster. And you can update Linux package using the advanced package tool or apt sudo mean run with the admin write so sudo apt install python uh, dot pip pip mean python package manager or pip and this is the latest version so you can install some package using pip tree or the pip for python tree gpio zero or general purpose input output the basic library which allow you to access the gpio port inside the raspberry pi okay so apt install mc yes okay so it will install the midnight commander which allow you to access a folder inside uh, the raspberry pi using a graphic use interface like this you can access photo file inside the terminal of uh, your P. Okay, so this is your photo of the user P, and you can create a new user named student by sudo add user student to create a new user named student. The student has been added to your user management, and you type your password, type full name student for learning. You can type your work phone, you can type your home phone as information. And you clear the so sudo mean super user do add user student sudo. Yes. So this means that you make your student to, to become an administrator or a super user. Super user or administrator are the same. And it, it can exit to exit this session. You can connect again by typing SSS student at a Raspberry Pi computer name, IP address, Raspberry Pi student, yes, and type yes to accept. So 
you type the sudo raspi config mean raspberry p configuration type your password your administrator password and this is a basic graphic user interface for configuration and you can type or select the country here i use vietnam okay so here vietnam and wireless computer set to vietnam no, not necessary and to change time zone yes time zone can change to ho chi minh city by typing asia and here vietnam or ho chi minh city okay ho chi minh city press ok and enabling vnc yes vnc viewer is very convenient for you to access from uh, any computer inside the network so in your uh, pc or your laptop in your mac eastern vnc viewer to access remotely to your uh, raspberry p and you can download the vnc viewer from your computer install this and type your computer name or IP address of the raspberry p computer and you type your name upon your password your name is student and your password here one two three four five six i have just defined before okay so uh, you can access remotely to the graphic user interface of the Raspberry P operating system but as I, I think the SSL hub from terminal is better because you can uh, type you can debug very fast you can type your password you can type uh, to, to confirm your new password next okay. and you can press next next to confirm so the system here is up to date after you uh, update every package in your uh, operating system. Okay, it's up to date. And later, okay, you can open terminal inside this, and it is uh, similar to uh, the SS hub. Is they can who am I to see the user information? You can access the internet here you can also use some basic uh, programming uh, application like here in the raspberry pi uh, website you can see the map of the pin uh, for example we have many general purpose input output and uh, we have the uh, pin for uh, clock pin for round Mosi, Miso, uh, Serial Cloud, and I, I will in introduce by you uh, in the uh, specific example. So uh, we have many CPIO uh, which allow you to connect to the other, uh, the other device uh, from your uh, mini computer. Uh, firstly, you connect to the mini computer using SSH uh, account student at Raspberry Pi is a computer name so you can type a pin now to see the detail uh, pin map and this is the actual detail of your device so it is uh, so good uh, to show uh, very detail about your uh, bot here you have five volts you have round you have gpio and uh, we have the 3.3 uh, volts uh, so here it is an example of simple traffic line with three line emitting diode. Firstly, we have Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this is my device or my computer. We have a GPIO 23 connect to uh, the resistor of uh, 200 ohm and through uh, the line emitting diode, the cathode of the LED connect to the ground. This is the ground or uh, GND. Uh, the GPIO 12 connect to uh, 200 ohm, then connect to the yellow LED. And then red LED okay, connect to GND. So this is camera to show you the demo of the simple traffic line I have just done.
and uh, this is connection uh, to your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, from your test board, your wire test board and uh, for a few seconds one line turn on and then for a few seconds it turn off and another we turn on okay so this is a current number to show you about the step so this is a power supply 5 volt uh, GPL 23 or pin 16 okay so uh, we also have the resistor the resistor about uh, 200 ohm here uh, you can use a 200 to 300 etc it is only for uh, decrease the current run to the light emitting diode so the value is not uh, as price uh, precise you can choose 200 300 400 okay so this is a green light emitting diode or the green LED yeah the green LED here has two pin anode and cathode the anode connect uh, the electronic uh, current run from the anode to cathode and so in the terminal uh, you create a blind file uh, by using touch uh, task to create a blank file name uh, 01 traffic line dot pi or python and cat means display a file content you can type a cat to display the file content you can also uh, type nano to edit the file content so python 3 to start python 3 and uh, And here, you you can import uh, RPI or Raspberry Pi dot GPIO ideas as GPIO variable. So you you create a new tab, and then connect remotely from your Mac to Raspberry Pi computer using SSH. Yes, student at Raspberry Pi type your password okay so p now to see the detail pin of your uh, raspberry p raspberry p yes pi okay so zpoi io 23 mean so click to here and then uh call zpio dot set mode so you can set the mode to BCM or broad, uh, Broadcom mode and GPO setup and you, you, you set up the, the type of the pin so 23 as GPIO out okay yeah it is not running because you, you must run as a, a root or a administrator account you firstly quit and run as root by typing sudo so sudo python 3 okay and type your password yes and now copy this code and copy this code and set up set up the 23 as output so the line will turn on So set the GPIO 23 as input and output. So output here. Okay. Output means uh, you will use it to control uh, the other device. Or input means you read uh, data from other device. And then you, you can set to 0 or 1 to turn on or turn off the value. Uh, if it is turn on, uh, the logic will be true and the value of voltage may be 5 volts. 5 volt. So GPIO cleanup 
to clean up the ZPIO port. Yes, okay. So it will turn off. So quit uh, Python here. And then clear the, your screen, uh, list all files, and check for the 0, 01 traffic line. So you type nano to see. Yeah, and then you can type the code L you have just defined in Python for testing. You set the Python green is a variable of the GPL23 and uh, set up the, the the mode for this pin to zpio.out you set up the mode for this pin to output and then control your import uh, python debugger for testing if you want to debug your program you can use the uh, python debugger and here yes so you can run by sudo python3 Python 3 and 0 1 tab for display the file. Okay, so you can uh, type a list to see where you are. Yes, so here I am running in this line and you can next or run next line. Next, okay, and then he can turn on. Yes, we turn on the left green again. Yes, and GPL left red. Yes, I turn on LED, okay, command C, to uh, quit the program. Okay, so run again. So, GPIO setup, and quit, okay, no, no, not necessary. And now, you can type here to edit the file by clear, uh, clean up, yes, this line will clean up, and then, I run the program again. Yes. Next. 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 Yes. After pressing next, you can see uh, turn off. Okay. So Google search SSSFS. Uh, the the tool allow you to map your driver or map your photo in your PC or your laptop to a photo inside your Raspberry Pi. So this is a mapping photo. This is very convenient if you want to edit your file in, in your local computer and the file in your uh, uh, Raspberry Pi will be updated. Okay. Okay, so install FFS uh, file system in Mac OS. Uh, it is a, the same as when you uh, run in Windows or Linux and you can Google search for detail. So now I can map uh, the folder in Raspberry computer to the folder in your Mac or your PC. Okay. So you map by typing SSFS from your Raspberry Pi Pi and your folder in your Mac. So list all to see. Okay. So now you can here. Okay. You can copy the the name. Yes, you can copy and type again. So open and browse to your folder. Yes. So your folder in your PC or Mac like here. You can open and edit the code inside this file. So here you can uh, edit the code very easy by using your sublime text, your ID, your favorite ID. So here I can define the let yellow. I define let red to the specific pin by GPIO 12, GPIO 16. And I uh, define as a setup function. Uh, this is a, set, a setup function in Python uh, by GPIO dot set mode. So I set a mode for GPIO dot com mode, and then I set up the um, the, the pin mode for uh, left red to GPIO dot out. Yes. 
set as output signal mean that this output will be sent to another device yes here yellow and the same as green so I uh, define another uh, function name control traffic lines the input parameter is a parameter object parent firstly you need to turn on the LED green by setting GPIO 12 uh, 23 to 3.3 volts or the uh, true logic and then delay about uh, delay screen green yes delay green is a parameter and sent from the params of the control traffic line and I set the same as with black green zero okay to turn off yes turn on or turn off and then I can turn on yellow and turn off yellow yes with a delay this is specific delay okay so from zero to one uh, a specific time delay yes. I do the same as with the uh, delay yellow delay red so now here the yellow no yes and so, so now it is my main function so you must check for the name global variable to means and you, you call the setup function then the control traffic line inside a while loop you type y2 mean uh, the y forever and you can call control traffic line inside the y2 and here I set the parameter is uh, which is an uh, object of mapping so a map object here has key and value of delayed red about 5 seconds delay green 6 seconds and delay yellow 3 seconds okay. 6 for green uh, 3 for yellow and 5 for red so you, you type the content to check in Raspberry Pi so the content here and then you run the program by typing sudo python3 file name yes. control travel like missing one require so you must copy the param objects and paste to here run again yes the already use uh, because of the conflict maybe you must import the library for timing and set it here no time okay already use continue away okay so here you add inside a try get block yes you copy this code line inside the try get block okay so when uh, when you press ctrl c the program will run inside the 44 line okay you remove and you print out the detail arrow here so user accesses uh, the program because you press Control C okay and you clean up the GPIO port okay clear screen and uh, sudo Python 3 file name to run again so maybe yeah so, uh, here it is a result it will display the three led line by a specific delay time uh, it is very practical to practice and understand and you can also use a combo of three uh, led like here and it will also run the same as with the same code I just give you okay so this is the end of my lesson today thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye